Well, welcome back to the Ten Show. Today's show is all about love on this Valentine's Day. How appropriate. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and, and there's an age-old problem. You're driving through the streets in mm -hmm. Philadelphia. You see someone in another car. You're single. The other person's single. You're thinking, hey, I'd like to meet that person. That's but right. How do you do it? Well, we now have a man from our area who's come up with this modern way of making a love connection. It's called flirting in traffic. Take a look. Lori Delgado introduces us to this new technology. You're in a city or at red lights, near a mall, intersections, you stop. Especially on nice warm days, you got your windows down. I've been trying to get to you for a long time. People pull up next to you, and when you, when you first make eye contact, it's a little uncomfortable. I, this is so uncomfortable. Well, now there's a way to make it less uncomfortable, a way that allows you to not say something, even drive away, and still possibly get the girl or the guy in the end anyway. Hi, how are you? It's a website called flirtingintraffic.com. Pennsylvania native and founder Ben Frost, Phillips got the idea when he found himself stopped at a red light and couldn't muster up the courage to say something. His plan, he says, is to help people all over the country who are just like him. This isn't really internet dating, it's just flirting. It's just a way if you, you know, flirt with somebody and you just didn't follow up and you wish you had, which happens to everybody every day of their lives. Um, now you can just follow up. It's really easy to get started on kicking your love life into gear. Just log on to flirtingintraffic.com and sign up by putting in just a little information about yourself. Really, very little, like your name and where you are from. So once you've registered online, you'll get your ID sticker in the mail. Just come over to your car, stick it on, get in your car, and now you're officially licensed to flirt. I was thinking about a short the idea seems to be working, not just here, but across the country. People between the ages of 18 and 60 are joining, and more men than women. The ratio is about 60-40. And since the website launched this December, Phillips says hundreds of people are already signed up. This is my new number. That, oh, is eight, this your number? Three, no, I don't four, think seven. so. Let me introduce you to Ben Phillips, who came up with the idea. Ben, this is kind of taken off. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of fun so far. I love this. So you can actually put this on your car. People know you're single to mingle, right. and they can actually go and kind of look you up and make a connection. It's now, how is this better than just kind of seeing somebody and honking or trying to pull over and write their number down? Well, it's a second chance. Okay. You, you get to meet up with them at some uh -huh. point if you know if they're willing to entertain your offer after you send them an email. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole point is to advertise the fact that you're single and give people a way to get a hold of you. You kind of get the chance to actually see the person in person. Oh yeah, you get it. You get your initial from, from you here, interview. from right. here up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now but you, with internet dating, you, that's all you get too, really. Sometimes, and it's only you a, get picture a picture from there. Up. I like the way you yeah. drive your car. <laughs> a a three four seven. <laughs> hmm. Now, so you have twelve hundred people signed up so far, and this just started nationwide in January. Right, it's a brand new concept, mm -hmm. and to have this many people that fast, I'm very happy and so the, far. The other thing, too, you actually know a person is single if they have this. I mean, you know, not many married people or people who are involved would put a sticker like this on their car. Right, people in relationships would probably not. wouldn't do this, but mm -hmm. we are going to come up with static clean stickers for people in relationships. You know, if you want to take it off, you know, put it on when you're out in your car, take it off later. Oh, I don't know that that's so good, Ben. I mean... Uh, that was just a joke. Okay, please. Uh, okay, now, what if somebody doesn't have a car? For example, a college student. Do you have something for them? We have something for them coming out tonight, actually, at Temple. Um, it's called Flirting on Campus. You're going to get a, a luggage tag like this with your flirting ID on it. So okay. you, just, you wrap it around your purse, your book bag, your backpack, your belt buckle. If you're walking around campus, people could get a hold of your ID number and email you. So hey. TU would be Temple University? Right, right. How about that? And you could be making a love connection here, but really we're just having fun flirting. That's basically it, yeah. Just have fun. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, wait, when we come... Off stickers. Thank you, Ben. Thank good you. luck with the Thanks. flirting. Thanks. When we come back after the break, we reveal 10 show viewers' favorite love song. We asked for your emails earlier. Stay with us to find out.